Hello, hello, my friends. Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Welcome back to my face and my card making space and video two of two this evening or one of two, depending which one you get to first. This is another Stamp Timber exclusive for those that are not aware or are new. Through the month of September, it's Stamp Timber, and it's a whole bunch of fabulous card making brands that have banded together to sponsor Stamp Timber for Simon Says Stamp. And they've produced these exclusive limited edition sets that are only available while supplies last through this month. And as always, if and when the sets sell out, there are still plenty of options through the brand. Today's uh, video or this video is with Waffle Flower, one of my favorite brands. And I will link to the Waffle Flower brand in the description box below, along with all the other supplies I used, because Waffle Flower has a ton of stamps and dies and hot foil plates. The Waffle Flower grip mats that you guys see me use in like every single video. Huge fan, huge fan of those. I have been loving them. And yeah, tons of fabulous products. I did some multicolor heat embossing with this set. So I used three different colors of embossing powder pulled out more shimmer powders because I had a lot of fun in a recent Stamp Timber video using my shimmer powders again. I will have a link at the end of this video to my shimmer powders playlist because I've got a whole bunch of videos in there using um, a couple different brands. Today I'm using the Lindy's Magicals, but I've also used my Tonic Nouveau shimmer powders. All of them are fabulous, all super fun. And yeah, let's get right into the card making. So this is the Galena's Snowflakes stamp set that is the limited edition collab. And Galena does, designs a lot of products for Waffle Flower, some of my favorites. She does beautiful cards too. If you go to the Waffle Flower Instagram, um, you'll find tons of inspiration. Tons of inspiration and scroll down you'll find like, because it'll have her name on them and different things she's made and always some of my favorites. like. There's so, so often I'll see a waffle flower set and I'm like, oh, love, must have. And of course it's designed by her. <laughs> but then again, I love all the things pretty much. So anywho, I took Canson XL watercolor paper and I put it into my Misty and I stamped the, the great big snowflake from this set. I used my anti-static powder tool and then I stamped it a couple times because it's, it's a large stamp. It's a lot of solid area and the watercolor paper has a little bit of texture to it not a lot so inked it up stamped it a couple times to get a good good image coated it with uh simon's gold embossing powder and i'm doing this all twice because while i got the supplies out why not try more than one card again always depends on what i've got going on whether i can do more than one and i haven't melted the embossing powder yet stamped a couple more snowflakes and added the embossing powder and i just repeat the process and um, once I've got those stamped, then I'm going to melt this embossing powder so that I don't, because otherwise, <laughs> guaranteed, guaranteed, I'm going to make a mess, you know? So melt all that with my heat tool till it's smooth and shiny and fabulous. And then I'm going to start lining the panels up in like the center of my Misty now, because I'm going to have images like hanging off the edges. And then on top of the panel, I put my, and I always forget the name of it. It's the, the grid thinger lineup thingy. <laughs> this is why I don't name products because that's what everything would be. Everything would be like, dude, it's a grid thingy. Anyway, large mat and transparency. Anyway, I put that over. I've also shown using just like the, the transparency sheet that comes backing stamps as well. That was just to like kind of protect the cardstock. So I'm not getting stuff everywhere. And then I laid out um, a bunch of the snowflake stamps around the background and I stamped them. And then this time I'm using white embossing powder and just using different embossing powders like this. It just gives it such a fun look. And while I did this on the watercolor paper and with um, like I'm going to add shimmer powders and everything. Another option was be, would be to stamp this on like dark cardstock. Like black was my first thing because you guys know. I have an entire playlist on my channel of black, gold, and white cards because chef's kiss. I know. I'm shocked I that I didn't do this. But however, I've done many snowflake cards in black, gold, and white. But it doesn't even have to be that. Like dark blue, like navy cardstock would look beautiful. Red, green, re like any. 
you could just do this on color cardstock if you don't want to add um, any sort of shimmer powder, watercolor, ink blending, anything. You could just, you know, and you wanted to make a ton of these because doing it like this, and especially if you had more than one Misty, you could set up a little station and make a ton of these. Um, but yeah, to do it on like a darker cardstock would look fabulous. Just fabulous. So anyway, there's there's some ideas. If I had, if I found those magical extra hours in the days so I could make all the things that are, you know, bouncing around in my head, like you guys wouldn't even be able to keep up with the amount of content I'd be putting out. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So the, the first layer was gold. So I'm saying layers, but you know, none of them are actually layered over each other. But first one was gold, second one was white. And then this last one, I did uh, liquid platinum, Rangers liquid platinum embossing powder. Normally I would do like silver just because it's habit in a sense, like you do gold, white, silver. But I used liquid platinum again on the last card I did with the shimmer powders and re was reminded of how much I love liquid platinum embossing powder. So that's what I went with. But you could also do like copper ooh, like a coppery or a bronze color and silver and I, again you guys too many ideas too many ideas and not enough time so tape these to a hardboard just use little bits of washi tape these panels right now are bigger than an a2 size card so they're gonna get trimmed down and i don't bother taping like all around the edges you totally can i just one i'm almost out of painter's tape i need to get another roll and two this is more just to kind of hold the watercolor paper down because it would it curls because i spray this heavily with water and i've shown it in some of the other videos i've done in my shimmer powder playlist that when it curls up just everything starts running off the edges and it's just annoying so i tape it down to a hardboard and then for these cards, I'm using the Alexandra's Artists Magical Set because with the Lindy's Magicals Shimmer Powders, they come in sets of five and they're all different names, all different things. And yeah, this is the one I grabbed for these cards. And I like to just take my little fan brush. This specific one is actually from Picket Fence Studios. It's my little, I call it my shimmer powder brush now because there's just something about the bristles that it just grabs the shimmer powders really nicely but yeah a fan brush just works the best in my opinion and I just lightly tapped the powders onto the background I didn't use all the colors I used all but I think the one I didn't use was the coral color I think I used all the rest of them but anyway and then I broke my rule that I always tell you guys is spray it and walk away and I didn't do that I'm fine with it. I'm happy with my result. But I always say, because it always looks like a hot mess when you spray it with water and everything's just like puddles, you know, every time. And I always say, just set it aside and walk away. Let it dry. Come back when it's dry and then evaluate because it looks completely different when it's dry. But I mucked with it because I just wanted to. I was just in that mood. So I ended up like sopping up a bunch of it with a little bit of paper towel and then I added a little bit more and then I'm like using a paintbrush to move things around still I'm fine with it it ends up creating this kind of ethereal very soft background it's something I never would have been able to do myself with like a brush and watercolors or just you know trying to paint to do like loose soft backgrounds like that I can't do that kind of stuff to save my life that's why I love things like the shimmer powders because it's like I just throw the powder powders down spray it with water and it just let it take its course and I end up with things like these yeah very soft almost marbly looking so anyhow anyhow when they were dry I die cut them with one of the waffle flower a2 layers dies that also helps kind of flatten them out a bit because of course they're very warped between all the heat embossing and the um, water and whatnot and then I took a piece of Simon's Lavender cardstock and I stamped the big merry and bright sentiment from that set onto it gold heat embossed it and then that I'm going to die cut with one of Waffle Flower's circle wafer dies and then my card bases are going to be top folding A2 white note cards and I've got the inside of the cards here in my Misty and I'm going to stamp that great big snowflake again this time with Simon's Lilac positively saturated ink so it's nice nice pretty purple and once I stamped that I grabbed a piece of surf blue cardstock yes that's what I used 
grab that and rather than use my misty i just use an acrylic block i switch back and forth all the time it's just it just depends so i put my anti-static powder on the cardstock and then i stamped the merry christmas sentiment from the set just along the very edge of the cardstock and gold heat embossed that as well melted that with my heat tool let that cool down for a couple seconds and then i'm just going to trim these down using my little guillotine paper trimmer because i want to add these to the insides of the cards and i'd rather heat emboss it on a separate piece one it just looks a little nicer but also um save me from trying to heat emboss a sentiment over that great big snowflake i would have had to let that dry a lot longer so doing it separately just saved me a little bit of time plus it just added that little pop of blue as well which was just nice so adhered those strips to the insides of my cards and then just reinforce those folds with my bone folder and then the um heat embossed and shimmery backgrounds i just adhered directly to the card bases with some craft tacky glue and then I just put them under my great big um, Hero Arts blocks. I'll have links to these along with everything else like I always do in the supplies. And that just holds it all down while the glue dries. And then the sentiments I popped up with some Big Mama foam tape. This will just give them a little bit of dimension but not a whole lot of bulk. So put that on the back of these sentiment circles. Peeled off the backing and then just popped these into place on um, the center of both of these cards. And then once those are adhered, of course I added bling. Um, I almost used that that pink fresh uh, champagne glitter bling that I used in the other shimmer powder video because that would have went with the liquid platinum embossing powder. But the gold went out. I have a soft spot for gold. <laughs> these are the Studio Cadia gold sparkle crystals. These are... These are the OG ones. I think they're the first, at least the very first ones I ever got that had like, cause they're crystals or like little rhinestones with glitter in them. And yeah, I've gone through so many packs of these over the years. Ugh, love. So I adhered those into place with dabs of craft tacky glue. And that finished off these cards. Of course, I'm going to turn on my flashlight to try and show the sparkle of the background. Again, it's subtle, but it's there. You know, so there's sparklies and we've got like the different colors of the embossing powders and I don't know what it is. These backgrounds just, it wasn't what I was going for, but I like them. Like they're just soft, you know, but all the other ideas I gave, those have been great too. So hopefully you guys get to create them when you get this set. So anywho, as always. Links will be below the video to all of the things like I mentioned in the intro. Thank you all so very much for watching, thumbs upping, commenting, subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you and I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.